New for model year 1980, the 4900 became the largest tractor produced by Massey Ferguson in the early 1980s. It joined the 4000 series of articulated four-wheel drives that were launched in model year 1978, including the 320 horsepower model 4880, 265 horsepower model 4840, and 225 horsepower model 4800. The 4000 series tractors were initially manufactured in Detroit, Michigan. Production shifted to the Massey Ferguson Combine Factory located in Brantford, Ontario, starting with model year 1983. These machines were built there through 1985. Powered by a 14.8 liter Cummins VT903 turbocharged 8 cylinder 903 cubic inch diesel engine, the Model 4900 is rated at 375 engine horsepower and 320 PTO horsepower. The tractor is fitted with a 190 gallon diesel fuel tank. This tractor features a partial power shift transmission with 18 forward and 6 reverse speeds. It can travel from 2.4 up to 19.2 miles per hour. When the machine rolled off the assembly line, it weighed in at 27,000 pounds and it can be field weighted up to 30,965 pounds. When the 4900 was new, it had a list price of $123,235. Additional options for the tractor included an AFM radio with an 8-track cassette player at a cost of $100. The tractor could be equipped with a 3-point hitch for a cost of $6,039 and it could be fitted with a 1,000 RPM PTO at $3,264. The Massey Ferguson 4900, featured in this video, is seeding soybeans near the Green River in western Kentucky. The tractor is operating a 30-foot wide Great Plains Solid Stand 30 holding local green drill. Nice room recap. Yep, used to be the largest in the industry. I still be. I'd say it's still up there with them. The first ones might be a bit bigger, maybe, but these are still pretty roomy. Have a party in here just about. Up in the cab of the Massey Ferguson 4900, and we can see that Cummins 903 V8 from the operator's perspective. As Dustin was saying, it's a very roomy cab. Good visibility, especially for a 1980s tractor. Big front window, side windows, and of course, a big back window. We can see that 30 foot great plate solid state grill. So, Dustin, you're using uh, GP 
ABS on this tractor? Yeah, we purchased it this year. We decided, since we also use this tractor on a three point hitch sprayer, that we wanted a little bit of guidance and did some shortages this year and everything. We found this used unit that's Trimble 750 or FM 750. We found it earlier this year and we decided to. Uh, to go ahead and purchase it because we didn't know at the beginning of the year whether or not anything was going to be available for purchasing brand new due to all the uh, shortages this year. Well, we can see here the tractor is on auto guidance. That's something that when this tractor was originally built and engineered, people wouldn't have imagined in the 80s seeing that MF Tri logo right there unattended as the tractor steers itself on a 30 foot pass across the field. And then, uh, what kind of transmission do you have over here? Uh, it's the, uh, it's the 18 speed transmission, pretty standard for these tractors, about the only one they ever had. You got your high and low right here, you got your one, two, one, two, three in reverse, and you got your three power shifts right here. You got your low, intermediate, and high. Low and intermediate are really the ones you use a whole lot. My grandfather used to always jokingly refer to it as a higher power shift as the happy shift. But the only thing it did was make you feel happy because you didn't really get too much of a speed increase from it. So he always just called it a happy shift. Sure. Well, it's definitely ahead of its time compared to a lot of the other four wheel drives that were out in the early 80s. Now, a lot of people don't give them too much credit. They were, uh, they had a lot of features about them and design wise that a lot of the newer machines they don't get a whole lot of credit because you know, not, not a whole lot of people in North America really, I guess, are big popular followers of Massey Ferguson. I suppose the 2805 took care of that. Well, uh, their four-wheel drives were definitely a leader in the 80s, and they were right up there with the Stigers and the Versatiles. Here we can see that Cummings 903 V8 engine and the 4900 Massey Ferguson. I hope you've enjoyed spending some time out in the field and up in the cab with this V8-powered Massey Ferguson 4900 articulated four-wheel drive tractor. 
I'd like to hear in the comment section below this video if you use Massey Ferguson tractors on your farm, especially if you have an articulated one. If you've enjoyed this video, consider subscribing to Big Tractor Power YouTube, where there are over 2,000 videos of farm machines in action. If you would like to see additional tractor content from this channel, continue to watch for a few more seconds to the end screen for a direct link to more Big Tractor Power YouTube. As always, thank you for watching.